because the truth is that you are full of God. I know a lot of us have been told we're full of something else, but the <laughs> truth is that we are full of God, that each and every one, me especially, I'm done, you know, that, that we are a center of divine consciousness. And so as a center, if you in fact are a center of divine consciousness, what do you think God intends for you, for your life? God intends only good. You know, it says in the scriptures, know ye not that ye are the sons and daughters of the Most High. So Ernest Holmes says the gift has already been given. God has already blessed us, but we act like it's not true. You know? So that like, just like the guy, the man who'd been for 38 years at the healing waters of Bethesda, wilt thou be made whole? And we say, yes, absolutely. But if you said that to that guy 38 years ago, when will you be made whole? Well, in about 38 years. I need to sit here with my story you know, I got, and, and you know, I'm certain that in those 38 years, he was not thinking in an uplifted, life-affirming manner. You know, he was leaning over to the person next to him, like, how long you been here? <laughs> 26 years, 38. Yeah. You think you got it bad? Oh, my butt is killing me laying on this piece of wood here, you know? So, oh, wilt thou be made whole? Yes, absolutely. Not in 38 years. When? Now. Right now. Any time between now and right now is a really good time to be healed, to have a change in consciousness. And we have to be on board with that. You know, St. Paul said, in the twinkling of an eye. It can all change in the twinkling of an eye. So my invitation to us today is, I don't know where, but somewhere in your life, you probably got to rise, pick up your bed, and walk, right? Walk away from the old notion you have of yourself because that notion does not serve you. Walk away from some error belief, you know, that belief that, that I lack, that there is not enough, or I'm not enough. There's not enough love for me. There's not enough opportunity. Walk away here, we'll make it very easy for you. Walk away from judgment and accusation and criticism of yourself and other people. No good will come from it. Hear this. If you hear nothing else, if you've been sleeping up until now, wake up for just this. I want you to know. No good will come to you from judging and criticizing and accusing yourself or other people. You actually, it's like, you deflect the blessings of God. You know, it's like you're saying to the universe, you know, universe, I'm getting so much value. I'm just getting so much value. This is so good. It's so juicy. You know, from the accusations I have against my brother, sister, boss, neighbor, whoever, that I will wait. I will postpone my good. I will postpone my healing rather than let go of that accusation. So I'm here today to invite you to let go of that accusation against others and, yes, absolutely against yourself. How do I do that? I'm so glad you asked. <laughs> that we have a little prayer that we call the love prayer, and it goes something like this. I accept this, I bless this. Or if you're dealing with a particular person, you would just start saying to yourself over and over again, every time you thought about them, I accept you, I bless you. I accept you, I bless you. I accept you, I bless you. Because, come on, tell the truth. We've been saying something else, right? And it has not been, I bless you, right? <laughs> I accept you, I bless you. Now, I know if you're like me, that sounds really good right now, but in 10 minutes, you're going to forget all about that. So we have a reminder for you today. <laughs> 